hi guys and welcome to my channel today i want to show you how to make jangalov hats it's a traditional dish of armenians uh, settled in the artsakh region which is uh, south um, of caucus mountains and it's practically a flat bread stuffed with all different kinds of fresh herbs and people say there are between 15 to 20 different herbs used in this bread uh, but I will show you what I have or whatever I can find in the market. Let's first start with the dough. The recipe for the dough is very simple. It's pretty much just water and salt, but I'm going to customize it a little bit, little bit to my taste. I'm going to use 500 milliliters of warm water. I'm going to use one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of sugar, and one tablespoon of olive oil. Uh, we're going to need a lukewarm water so we can dissolve our salt and sugar. And then um, I'm going to use two different types of flour. I'm going to use the bread flour, which is also called a strong flour. And I'm going to use an all-purpose flour. And I'm going to start with four cups. I'm going to mix those together. And I'm going to start adding it to the water uh, so we can make it into um, a little bit of a paste first. Uh, it's like a starter. Um, there's no yeast in this bread. This type of starter will help us figure out how much flour we're going to need at the end. And the dough is not very hard it's kind of on the soft side because we need to roll it out very thin so we are actually looking for the right consistency of this dough and first we're going to start mixing it with a wooden spoon uh, you could use just the handle of the spoon and when you feel when uh, your dough becomes a little bit more pliable then of course you can move it to the table surface and continue kneading it by hand and guys, flour is different everywhere. So every time you work with the dough, you kind of have to have a feel for it. You just have to feel it and know when to stop adding the flour. And uh, uh, we're just gonna move our dough onto the flour surface and we're gonna continue kneading it. And the kneading process of this dough will take about 10 minutes because we really need to work this dough out. And sometimes it helps if you just smack it a couple times on the table or you could just pull it and fold it. Whatever technique you use to knead the dough, you do need to knead it for at least 10 minutes so it becomes very soft and very um, uh, kind of smooth texture and it doesn't stick to your hands anymore and at that point we're gonna stop the kneading process we're gonna move the dough um, into a bowl covered with a little bit of flour we're gonna cover the dough and we're gonna let it rise or rest I should say for about 30 minutes in the meantime, we're going to wash all our herbs and here's the technique I use. I fill up the bowl with cold water and I kind of just dunk the herbs uh, in, in it and then kind of dunk it and lift it until all the sand or whatever dirt the herb has will end up in that water that I'm going to dump the water out and I'm just going to continue washing all my herbs because these guys do contain a lot of sand and you don't want to actually taste that sand uh, when you eat your bread. There is like a list of the herbs that you should use in Jankalov hats. It's in Russian, guys. If you read Russian, go ahead and try it. But I'm going to show you what I have today as far as the herbs, the ones I'm going to use in my bread today. In my bread, I'm going to use today some green garlic, which is also called the garlic sprouts. I'm going to use some fresh dill. And guys, those rubber bands on your herbs, on your bunches, keep them. I'll show you why. Uh, and we're going to use some green onion. We're also going to use some fresh spinach, some fresh cilantro. Uh, we're also going to use some arugula. And I was very excited to find this herb in the market that's called fenugreek. It's very traditional, has kind of like a peppery taste. I really love it. We're going to use some fresh parsley. Then I'm going to use some fresh basil. And it's a flat leaf California basil. I'm also going to use some tarragon, uh, which is kind of a powerful herb. So you have to be careful when you're using it. And then uh, we washed all our herbs. We're going to put some towel over them. 
and uh, we're gonna start cutting them chopping them and remember i told you to keep those rubber bands because those serve like a guide when you need to cut the ends of the herbs and that chopping will take some time usually when people make bread in armenia there's several different people making the bread some of them they just chop the herbs some of them just mix the dough some of them go outside um, to prepare the grill to make that bread because uh, most of the time that that bread is made outside on an open grill on kind of like a flat surface grill uh, but I'm going to show you how to make it at home today. So our dough has rested and we're going to divide it into small pieces. And I will show you the ones I'm going to divide it into kind of like a golf ball because I have a specific grill. I have the indoor grill, so I want the bread to fit in that grill, but actually uh, when Jankalov hats is made outside on the bigger grill, the bread itself is much bigger. That's what I'm going to make. So therefore, when you divide your dough, you will need to divide it into a larger pieces. When you make this bread at home, you don't need to wait the little pieces. You know, of course, if the bread is made um, or manufactured like somewhere in the market and they want all the bread to look the same, they would weight the dough and make sure that uh, everybody gets the same size bread. But at home, just eyeball it. As I told you, just this uh, uh, the size of the golf uh, ball will do. And um, um, we're going to cover these pieces uh, of dough and we're going to let them uh, rest for maybe another 10 minutes or so. Now let me show you what we're going to do with the filling. So we're going to need a smaller bowl. Um, we're going to mix the filling uh, specifically for one bread. And the reason it's done because if you just mix all your spices into the large amount of uh, herbs, uh, they're going to produce a lot of water and your bread is going to open up when you bake in it. So just put... Um, a good amount of that filling in a smaller bowl we're gonna add a little bit of um, red pepper a little bit of salt a little bit of olive oil and we're gonna mix it together and our filling is ready as you can see guys I have this indoor grill on one side it's flat on the other side has those grill marks which actually gonna make our bread beautiful so we're gonna take uh, two pieces out uh, from the uh, whole amount of dough and we're gonna roll those first and then just cover the rest of them um, until they're ready to be rolled and um, we're gonna roll this piece of dough into oblong shape and and has to be rolled out very thin as thin as maybe like two milliliters and then just try to keep that oblong shape uh, of the dough and as uh, soon as you see that your thickness of the dough is um, thin enough then we're gonna put the filling inside and guys inside that bread goes a lot of filling at first it looks like there's no way it's gonna fit in it but trust me you need to put a lot because you actually want to have um, when you bite into bread you want to bite into this herbs not in just the bread itself and there's a certain technique that's used to seal this bread and I will show it to you first you need to go from the middle and you need to connect this middle pieces and then you go almost like knitting a little sweater you go from side to side and you just paste the pieces together sort of like a gigantic uh, <laughs> a dumpling or something but this is the technique they use to make this bread which is actually kind of cute and uh, and that will keep all your filling inside and allows you to kind of just gather all your filling and make sure it all stays inside and then when you reach the end you just need to tuck the ends in and your bread is ready to be grilled and um, the another thing you need to do you need to kind of knock the air out of this bread so you just need to give it a couple taps and then a couple taps in the middle just to seal that seam 
Then you need to carefully remove that bread from the table surface and it's ready to be grilled. And of course it goes seam down first and then guys you will see it's going to puff up because the herbs are going to kind of expand there. Um, and you, you will see when you get a desired color, uh, kind of like a golden color. Uh, brown golden color uh, your bread is ready and then um, if you're gonna have a little bit more dough left and you don't have any filling left then you can just make a flat bread uh, because this recipe of the dough I gave you is actually the recipe for Armenian bread called lavash so you can just grill those pieces of dough and you guys have your lavash and you could use it for dip so you could just use it with your barbecues you could freeze it and then um, just throw it on the grill later uh, and uh, enjoy it. And this bread traditionally is enjoyed with some lemon and also with um, some sour milk, which is called mazzoni. Uh, and um, guys, this bread is extremely delicious, so you just have to try it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you soon.